Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last episode we caught Manaphy and Fiony. Today I believe it's gonna be um, Heatran we get next. So we're gonna go to uh, Firespit Island. Got told by Lena and Arita to go there because something is happening. So let's uh, just fast travel over and we shall fly. This is probably the fastest way isn't it? We, oh no, I'm not saying fastest way, you can just go from here. I totally forgot you can fast travel to um, <laughs> this area. Alright. Oh, there she is. Yo. Seems Arcanine has settled down in his role as Lord quite nicely. He's learned how to control his frenzied might and can use it in battle at will. Still, I'm sure you two could learn much from each other. What would you like to do? Oh, you have a rematch with um, Arcanine. I'm guessing you can have a rematch with all the nobles. But we want to go just over here and... Oh, is that a cave? Oh, I didn't know there's a cave here. Oh, cool. Hello, Volty. Thank you for coming so far out your way. Uh, Warden Iskan, wasn't Lena joining us? Oh, yes, about that. Um, it seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she asked us to check the Lava Dome Sanctum without her. But the nerve! She knows I can't stand uh, sweltering places like this. I'm sure she meant no ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Anyway, Volty, shall we go? Might as well get this over with. Sounds good, let's go in. I'm ready to go find Heatran. And get another plate. Careful, Volty. Alright. Hey, Heatran. How's it going? Ooh. Can I like- Ooh, wow, okay. I guess I probably have to go- Okay, heat ran, chill. Okay. I just need to break over this. Nope, can't break it. What about a ball? No, it's got to be balls of mud, surely. Why would they give us so many? Ah, yeah, so it's definitely balls of mud. Can I just like throw a ball? I can, nice. Probably start a fight if we need to. No, get it right away. That was easy. <laughs> oh, that was so easy. So we've got the iron plate. I like that. It was kind of like a unique battle. I had to get the mud balls to do that. That was that was really cool. Whew, at least the heat lit up a bit. <laughs> Look at her face. With both Arcanine and Heat Ran spewing flames about on a volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Warren Iskan, I have to ask, do you think there was any need at all for me to be here? Uh, well, um, yeah, yeah, of course there was. After all, you're the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this trouble cropped up right around the seat of one of your clan's nobles, so, um, yes, it was surely best for you to come to see it. I'm all of you to look after your clan's affairs. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to train her Growlithe harder. That's surely not the case. Even if Warden Polina may have mentioned something about the need for, um, tough love. I thought so. To think, she was so patient and kind with Growlithe, but when it comes to me... Well, Volty, you did great. We'll, um, just head back ahead of you. Sounds good. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. So based on Kojita's hints, it seems there might be three more plates left for you to find. Alright, so... Let's, uh, I want to go to get Giratina, but not yet. I'm not going to get Giratina yet. I feel like as well we might have to just go there once um, it gets unlocked. I reckon we'll get there, it'll be like a locked area, locked door, can't get in. Alright, so now we leave. I'm really surprised how easy um, <laughs> it was to get heat ran. Happy about it though, like sometimes it's just a bit... Too annoying to catch Pokemon, like Manaphy. Manaphy took way too long. Like Darkrai was pretty easy. Shaman was annoying. There's Heatran. And that's the Pokedex. Suppose you don't get any many points for um, getting like a legendary or a mythical. Alright, so I think next I'm going to get the Lake Trio. So we'll go to each of the lakes and go and get them. So let's quickly... I think the quest is already... already uh, 
Selected. No, there you go. So what ones have an outbreak? We've got matchups and Chansey. We'll go here first and go to the height camps and then we'll just fly on over. All right. Got to remember I can dash as well. I often forget I can dash with Breviary. All right. We might have to land on top of this and just jump or well, fly back up and go over. Come on, come on. Oh, we're definitely crashing in. That's all good. All right, now we just dive on down a little bit. I tell you that I think the worst thing about completing the Pokedex is going to be trying to get Spiritomb, trying to find all the Wisps. I feel like it's going to take me so long to do. There's Miss Spirit, nice. Okay, uh, let's just go Darkrai. If we can just yeah get the battle. I think for the Wisp though, obviously like I've shown where to get quite a few. I'll probably just. Um, the end of a video just have a nice little uh, montage of going around collecting all the ones I haven't collected yet. I think I got about 40 I think or just below 40 out of uh, I think it's 107. Wait, isn't Spiritum 108? I think it's 108. I don't know, drowsy. Oh I can maybe I can maybe hit you a little bit because you're level 70. Gonna go for a hex. I feel like that wouldn't kill you. No, it would. Way, let's go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, two more lake Pokemon left to be caught. All right, can we fast roll from here? I think we can. Nice. So let's just uh, leave from here, and we'll get Azelf and Uxie next. Which will be, uh, yeah, hopefully not too bad. We're having Dark Rise, just nice. Dark Void, go for a few Psychics to lower their attack. Or lower the attack, lower the HP. Can lower their stats though. Defensive stats with Psychic. All right, so now, got 40 points. Oh, no, I wanna go to the next lake. to Jubilee Village. I wish we could like travel to any area from any area. I wish we didn't have to go back to Jubilee Village to talk back to this guy to let him know I now want to go over here and let's go the bog. I think the bog's the closest. To be fair when you can fly it's nothing's too far. Make sure there's like no new side quest. To oh there is a new side quest to pick up. Ooh, okay. I will definitely go and do that. I get a new side quest we'll definitely pick up and do. Let's go this way. Ooh, I need to take a hard left. I thought it was kind of going the right direction, but no. Don't want to do. Don't want to do. Again, like any new Pokemon. Uh, I see. I would definitely add to the Pokedex, or even Wisps. I see. I need to pick up Wisps. I keep on flying, and then climbing. Yeah, it'd be easier just to climb than trying to fly. I will get the side quest first. Hopefully, it's not too difficult. Right, we need to go yeah, just past. What is your quest? Was that Adamant? Oh, what's up? Hey, this is Volty. Good timing. I found some treasure to be interested in. Does that make your ears perk up? Happy to fill you in if you're curious. Oh yeah, I'm curious, definitely. There's that uh, survey core spirit. Cur curiosity is what moves science forward, according to good old Mr. Professor. But come to think of it, what I've found seems too valuable to just let you in on for free. You'll need to work a little. Ah, oh, you want a battle, won't you? 
a Diamond Clan's treasure. Here's the deal. You want to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. You got it. Let's do this. Then it's on. Time to see what you've got. Here I come, knowing full well how tough you are for the future of the Diamond Clan. Oh, I'm excited. So does he still only have Leafy on? For like an Eevee to back him up? Oh, he's got an Umbreon now. And a Vaporeon, so he's got Evolutions. I'm guessing the reader will be the same. Uh, I'm going to switch target. I'll just Dark, dark Pulse the uh, Leafy on. Way Dark Cry too good. That's fine. And Victorian, what you got? Quick attack. It's all good. And then we're on back to you. And then Victorian. We will go. Mm, let's go normal Dark Pulse. Oh no. I keep thinking, because every time it's Darkrai was looking at Vaporeon, so I'm thinking I'm targeting Vaporeon. But obviously I'm not. <laughs> and now we are. Okay, we look back at Umbreon. I'm gonna keep hitting with the attacks, I see. And now Dark Pulse. Darkrai's just taking all these hits. And an Aqua Tail, I think we're getting taken out now. And that was so many attacks. Alright, let's go... Leafeon! Adamant, you, you think that's a Leafeon? This! This is a Leafeon! Look at this big boy! My Leafeon's like three times the size of yours. God, I love the Malphas, man. Dark Pulse, yeah, we good, we good. Alright, now, fork over that treasure. What you got? You're really something. I'm a man of my words, so here's that treasure. I feel like, yeah. It's gonna be the, the thing for uh, Dialga. Oh, sweet. Used to be my grandfather's. Said it was somehow related to Almighty. Sin I mean, to Almighty Dialga. So now that I've put you through the ringer a little, seems right to give it to you since you're the one who caught my Mighty Dialga. You know what I want to tell you. I'm glad it was you who fell out of the sky to us. You taught me another way to get along with Pokemon. Another way to relate to the world. Oh, sweet. So we can actually see Dialga's new form. I didn't think it would actually change the form. I was thinking maybe that was just like a. a you know, a boss battle form. Like, we wouldn't actually be able to use it, but... Dude. Oh, I cannot wait, because I don't know what Dialga looks like yet. Obviously, I've, we saw Palkia in the, the boss battle, which, um... I need to heal up, actually. Which was really nice. But apart from the arms. I'm so excited to see uh, Dialga. But let me get healed up, and then we'll come back and try and capture... Uxie, I think this is? Alright, now we're fully healed. Now we've saved the game. Let's go and get the next Legendary. As elf, okay. Oh, I wonder if you're fast enough you can just like throw the ball and get it right away. Okay, so let's go Dark Void. Then I go for a few psychics and just do a little bit of damage. Throw some multiples and hopefully we get it pretty quick. We shall see. Double hit, okie dokie. Go for Psychic. Go for one more. I should might put it in the red, actually. That'd be nice. Fourth for Drowsiness, or... Ooh, already? Right, so I go Psychic, and then I'm going to go Dark Void. And then we'll start throwing some balls. I'm not sure in this game if, like... Ooh, like, something like Dark Void affects the catch rate. I assume it would. Okay, 
agile style, okay. Let's find Dora Rad Dark Cry, get you healed up soon. Going to Samara, and then we start throwing some Ultra Balls, and let's hope we can get you. I reckon one Ultra Ball, that's all it will take. One Ultra Ball, one and done. Watch this get caught. Told ya! <laughs> Really feels like the catch rate for legendaries is a lot better than it used to be. I'll tell ya. I mean, for me anyway, sometimes I'd have a Pokemon, like a legendary, paralyzed or put to sleep, 1 HP, and I'd spend like 50, 60 Ultra Balls, nothing. In this game, not too bad. I mean, it's all luck dependent pretty much. Alright, so now we need to head to the next area. And there's no more side quests. I'm guessing the side quest for. I read it to get Pearl's um, form is going to be uh, at the Alabaster Icelands because that's where the Pearl Clan is. I still think like I'm a little bit disappointed that like I'm, I love this game. There's yeah, it's not perfect, but one thing I, I think I'm a little bit disappointed in is that the Pearl Clan and the Diamond Clan don't have like some big massive base. I know, I was, I was half expecting, um, I don't know, like Diamond and Pearl Clans have like a big castle just we can go to and whatnot, guard, fully guarded, but it's more, um, just a little small settlement, which makes kind of sense, but kind of wished, you know, they had big castles and felt more fearsome. This felt like, you know, a group of like maybe 10 people, it feels like. <laughs> All right, I need to see, I need to see Dialga's form. Please be good. I've always been Team Dialga over Palkia. Uh, where is my Dialga? I wonder if getting all the unknowns does anything as well. Uh, there you are. Alright. Let's check this out. Please be good. Please be good. Uh, we need to go... Okay, okay. I'm liking the face. I'm liking the face. Oh, that looks nice. It's legs. Like, the feet remind me of, like, Metagross a little bit, but... Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got, like, um... Like, Arceus' sort of, like, ring. Did Pokey have that as well? Oh, that's kind of cool. And it's so cool we actually get to, like, use it as well. Oh man, I love that. I don't know what I like more, Pokio or Dialga. Let me know in the comments down below, like, what do you like more? The, um, what would you call it? New form of Pokio and Dialga. But which one do you like more? Because I think I'm leaning more towards Pokia. But, like, I think... I think I would like Pokia definitely more if it had arms. Like, it looks like the body and everything looks really cool. It just looks so... I don't know, maybe because of the little, like, circle bits on its side just look so wrong. But, yeah, there's the side quest for, um... Arida, so we'll do that. Get the... thing for Palkia. Whereabouts are you? There you are. Armor coming. Woo! Bit lazy, just gonna fly up. <laughs> Can you imagine Braviary just gets cool just to... flap a little bit? But hello, Voltsy. I was just about to go find you and tell you about this precious, incredible, precious, incredibly precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized? I am curious. As you should be. There isn't a single person at all of vast Hisui who wouldn't be interested in treasure. Hey, yeah, request number 90. But anyway, before I show you, can you guess what I want to do? You want to battle? Yes, exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours. Like what you did atop Mount Coronet. Now, give me one moment, I need to center myself. So she's gonna have Glaceon, Espeon, and I bet maybe Flareon? No, Jolteon.
My partners and I are going to get stronger and travel all across this wide world. I should hope so. Alright, so Glaceon. It's definitely got Espeon and Jolteon, because that makes sense. Espeon and... Ah, oh, Flareon. That was close. Alright, so, oh my god, look at this. I'm just saying, if I was a reader, I'd be like, nah, I surrender. I ain't, I ain't fighting this thing. Look at it. Absolute monster. Oh, are we going for Espeon? My nice little strong style quick attack. Oof, a little bit of damage. Larry on two. <laughs> Dude, you feel like such a god that you're choosing this. Oh, man. I can't wait to get Arceus and just see what Arceus is like. I reckon like Arceus would be the same size. Oh, Regigigas! Surely Regigigas could be like, the biggest Pokemon in the game. No? Right? I feel like it'd be big. Uh, let me go... Roar of Time! <laughs> yeah, I think that Espeon just got deleted. Now we'll just finish this off. Oh, player, I'm really going in. Another roar of time. Oh, looks so cool. Battle decided. Hey, level 64. I wonder, Voltsy. Are there people even stronger than you out in the world? With Pokemon stronger than yours? Doubt it. Just have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here, the treasure, the treasure I promised you. The Lustrous Globe. Cool. I'm told this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected to Almighty, uh, to Almighty Polkia, I mean. And since Mighty Polkia is with you now, I'll entrust the Lustrous Globe to you too. Thank you, Voltsy, for everything. You are most welcome. All right, so now. Let's uh, start making our way to the lake. Can I fast travel? No, I think the fastest way would probably just be to jump on Sneasel and climb up. Alright. And last one. So then we got um, Reggie Gigas and Cresselia left to get. Almost there. Dabra not in the mood to fight. Alright. Let me make sure I'm healed up. Now I think we'll be fine. Let's go Darkrai. Oh, I should let off a Pokemon see if I can get this fast enough. Oh, I went too high. Alright, let's go Darkrai. And we will go for a nice... Gonna go for a strong style Psychic. Definitely won't kill it, but hopefully do enough damage from the yellow maybe. No, wow, you ate that up. I honestly thought I would do a lot more than that, considering how much I did to uh, Azelf and... Oh, great. Azelf and uh, Miss Spirit. You wanna drowsy me? I'll drowsy you. I do like all the changes they've done to the moves in this game as well. Like if sleep was like this in like generation nine, same with freeze and stuff, I, I, I would much appreciate that. I would like that. And no Pokemon abilities is nice. Personally, I, I don't like abilities. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, I feel like this is just pretty different, really nice. Let's go for an energy ball. There's no way that takes you out. Right, let's go for one more. Don't be a crit. Whew. Okay, now we start throwing some ultra balls. If you were drowsy, I reckon it would take one ultra ball to get you. Right, let's see what we can do. Can we one and done? Please, please, please. Ah, oh, okay, it's going to take a few balls. Hypnosis. Okay, so it's all good, it's all good. All right, another Ultra Ball. Please, please, please. Hey, there we go. 
Now we've got all three of the uh, Lake Spirits. And we get a Draco plate for that. Cool. So we'll go for Reggie Gigas next, and then Cresselia. Then after that, I'm guessing we probably go for Giratina. Be surprised. I mean, it makes sense they wouldn't add new legendaries and stuff because I feel like you know it'd be a bit weird to not have the legendaries or mythicals in the history of Pokemon. But having new forms kind of makes sense because I can get lost. But yeah, gonna end this part here. Then next episode, we're gonna just head over there and go and uh, get Reggie Gigas, and hopefully it's not too difficult to get. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.